here on 11 News. We're hearing from the family of a teen who was killed a week ago. Isaac Jasso was a student at Mitchell High School. 19 year old Marshawn Wethington is being held in the El Paso County Jail right now on a million dollar bond accused of killing Jasso. 11 News reporter Caitlin Quisenberry joins me in studio. Caitlin, you spoke with Isaac's family who say he will be remembered for the sweet soul that he was. Jared, family members tell me while walking home last Saturday night, Isaac died steps away from his family home. They also tell me his sisters heard the gunshots, but they also say they hope he isn't remembered just for the tragic way he died. Let's go, Isaac! Let's go, Isaac! Even if he beat somebody wrestling, he picked him up off the mat told him, and gave him a hug and told him, keep going, you're good, yeah. Yeah. keep wrestling. Isaac Jasso was only 16 years old old enough to start driving, planning for high school graduation, and a lifetime of adventures. He was a Mitchell High wrestler in the 132 weight class and a JROTC cadet. Isaac leaves behind a father, mother, and four siblings, one of which was his twin. It's a lot harder knowing that we aren't doing certain things together anymore and that I got out, um, lost him a little too early but I know he's going to do better, and I know that we're trying to do better for him. Gone way too early. Isaac's family, still grieving, got tattoos honoring his love of lizards and the colors red and black. His mother says he was just days away from a trip long anticipated. He was ready to go to Oaxaca, Mexico. They actually left for their trip yesterday, and... He was supposed to be gone for two weeks. He was excited to go. He was scared, but he was excited. I don't know. This summer was supposed to be for him. It was a lot of plans that we were supposed to have. And he wasn't supposed to leave so soon. <laughs> The Jasso family tells me they plan to have a celebration of life for Isaac in the near future at his favorite park, Palmer Park. In the last six days since its creation, Isaac's GoFundMe has raised more than $5,000 for the Jasso family. If you would like to contribute, you can visit our website, kktv.com. Back to you. All right, Kayla, thank you so much for that story. Anyone with information or who witnessed this is investigation is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Thank you so much, Kayla.